we are going to be creating first time pond owners by building a beautiful water feature in this backyard. There's my hand and there's the rock. So we've got a bunch of beautiful, beautiful 24 to 36 inch boulders. This is SK, Sarah Kate. She is a big Team Aquascape, Greg Woodstock, the pond guy fan, and Ed the pond professor. What do you think of the pond though? Is it everything you thought it was gonna be? This is you plan this pond? Brian said he planned the pond. I mean, no, I mean like I kind of picture it this way. Okay, so I think what she's trying to say is she was the one with the big idea, right? And, and Brian kind of said, you know what, that's a good idea, kid. I'll run with that and I'll tell my guys it was my idea. I think that's how it went, right? He took all the credit for your genius idea of putting a pond in your backyard. Let's go run this thing. This is a big moment. We don't let just anybody do this. Very, very special. Hit the middle button, all right? Now turn around, let's see what happens. What is up everybody? Welcome back to Team Aquascape. Today we have a very fun, special first go around for a very well deserving family here in the west suburbs. We are going to be creating first time pond owners by building a beautiful water feature in this backyard. You can see it is impeccably landscaped. It looks like they've got some little kids over here. So that'll be really cool. We've got a couple neat features on this pond to help with the interactivity for the youngins and the elders alike. But I just wanted to kind of give you a scope of the canvas behind me. We are going to to be putting about a 15 by 15 ecosystem pond in this area and through here. Like I said, there's going to be an interactive part of this. So we're gonna go ahead and put a beach over on this side of the pond. So it'll actually come out about 18 feet, but the pond itself will be about a 15 by 15 foot pond. We're gonna bring it in really close underneath the deck. Bio falls back over there. And we will also have some stepping stones going across the stream leading into the pond being fed by the waterfalls. So we have, a couple days to do this project. We'll probably definitely have a long day today. This is a first time water feature going to be new pond owners. So super excited about that. We love introducing people to the Aquascape lifestyle. Sounds like the equipment has been delivered. Sounds like the rock is also being delivered. The guys are behind me laying down plywood to protect all the grass. We also have to tear apart this gate. We will put it back folks, but we do have to pull this gate out. Probably pull out that black eyed Susan right there to make room for that machine to be able to get through and make light work of the digging over here. We've got a heck of a lot of sod that we have to get out of here as well. So we have our work cut out for us. It'll probably be a long day today. Fortunately for us, we have two days to build this project. Cannot wait to get started. So I'm gonna stop yapping, put the camera down, and let's get rolling. You see we've got one over here taking apart this fence panel. So we have to get this section of the gate out in order to get that machine down in through here. We've got everything marked out. This outside orange line is going to be the bed line where we're gonna cut all the sod inside this line all the way going back. Let me walk up to the deck. So here's the pond. This line follow this all the way around. So we've got about 15 feet going from here over to there and then there over to there. And then you can see this little bump out section right there. That's gonna be that beach area. Area. And then this area right in through here will end up being a flagstone patio at some point. We're gonna try and work in a little butt rock or seat rock there, maybe over there for the kids to sit along the edge. Skimmer's gonna go in back in this corner here. The hydrangeas and the wygelia all are gonna come out. We'll see about some of the other stuff in through there. We'll probably change a little bit of the, the rest of the landscape planting. Biofalls sits up over there, drop into a stream. The stepping stones that we talked about are gonna go right through that stream over there, leading you to a pathway that takes you out around on the beach or to the beach and then over to this little fire pit area over through there. That's the skill for the pond. We're gonna start getting sod out of here, getting that into the truck so we can keep rolling.
Yeah, yeah. Look at these fine, sexy gentlemen in this very voluminous hole. This excavation is 99.8% complete. We're just kind of cleaning things up. You can see the mats behind me have the skimmer. The next step is going to be getting the rest of the hole kind of cleaned up, then our fabric, then our liner, and then we're gonna go ahead and hook up our skimmer. We'll hook up our two inch plumbing, which you can see running back over there behind Juan. And then it is rock and roll time, which is always my favorite part of the project. So let me take you out front and kind of show you the 11, 12 tons of boulders that we have on site. You know, you see our access behind me. We've got our plywood pathway. We do have a dingo, but we also have ball carts, which are gonna be a majority of stuff this size. However, I would say we've got some bigger rocks. So just to give you some perspective, there's my hand and there's the rock. So we've got a bunch of beautiful, beautiful 24 to 36 inch boulders over here. You notice that we cut a couple of those shelves all the way down to the bottom so we can stand up a lot of these big guys. A lot of the big guys will also be used in the retaining wall along the back side of the berm, which is very often overlooked as well as the wing walls that support the waterfalls, the stream and waterfalls. So just wanted to give you an idea. I mean, there's a big pile of rock back there. We've got some big boulders, but I think between the macho men on this crew, the dingo and the ball carts, we can make light work of it. I also wanted to point out one thing. Everything sloped away from the house on this project and it was probably a good 16 inch grade change from where existing elevation was underneath the deck which you can see we've got the hole dug underneath the deck so we're gonna have the pond look disappear underneath the deck there was a 14 or 16 inch elevation change from there over to this side so it dropped off really really hard so what we did was when we were excavating we scraped all that dirt across and flattened this area off so that we raised this back edge up so that we can get water level that much higher in the pond if elevation would have stayed that 14 16 inches below grade up there we would have had to have dropped the water level another 12 to 14 inches exposing a ton of rock on that back edge over there so we wanted to make that pond as approachable as possible we're gonna put a little beach area in through here which we have not carved yet because I don't want to disrupt access for the machine and the dingo to hand off rocks to it I also don't want to bottleneck this area the beach will probably be one of the last things that we accomplish over here you can see we've got that's one of those shelves that goes all the way down to the bottom so we'll get a big peninsula rock right there and then we'll probably rock back behind it setting a nice turn there we also have one standing right where Juan is now Juan's about seven feet tall so which would make the pond only look about 18 inches deep but it's amazing he's almost buried in that entire pond right there so skimmer is now in we'll hook up the plumbing fabric liner and then rock and roll up everybody it is the start of day two we are going to continue to rock and roll today we've got the pond essentially rocked in and it's time for us to focus on the waterfall and stream area we've got Juan over here resetting water level Matt's working on getting some gravel you can see the pond is starting to fill which we started last night the next plan of action is going to be working our way back up through the stream waterfalls area we're gonna put some of these big granite boulders in as some steppers located just behind where Matt's at to connect a pathway that's going to come around there on this side of the retaining wall holding back the waterfalls. It'll cut across. There will also be a secondary path that goes along the back side of the berm. The customer has visions of having no grass back here at some point. So he wants this thing to be interactive. A lot of pathways around here, probably more of like a sensory garden type thing. Lots of organic pathways, hidden areas, that kind of stuff. So we've got our work cut out for us today. There's only four of us. Maybe Matt Benner will be here later but we'll see so we've got one of the tanks filling up behind me so that when we're ready to fill this pond up we can just clean up pump down in there and dump that water into the pond we're gonna do the same thing with this so as we're working we're trying to stay as efficient as possible so that we're not waiting on the pond to fill up so when it comes time to turn that stream water balls on we can go ahead and do that so that's where we're at today we're gonna focus on this area get this done and then kind of work our way out of here we've got plenty of rock out on the street still I would say we've got another four tons out there and all big stones which we'll use for this retaining wall around here we've got our work cut out for us today but we are going to rock and roll and i think we're in great great shape so i'm gonna put the camera down stop yapping and let's get rocking 
All right, so I are just buttoning up the waterfalls. You can see these guys are really getting into their work down there. We've got Corey doing his best job. These guys are buttoning up edges along the back side of the pond. So this is the area underneath that deck. They're doing a really nice job of keeping the existing grade back behind the stones at an acceptable level so that that dirt and stuff isn't gonna rush in. We'll end up putting a few more stones back there just to raise it up, but they're gonna work their way back around this way. And you can see we've got maybe one of the last boulders to set just on the left side of the biofalls there to frame out that last waterfall, or I guess would be the first waterfall coming out of the biofalls. We've got our stepping stones in. Those are the two rocks between that orange bucket there. And then we're gonna start with wing walls and then start feathering out our berm. So we are in great shape today, making really good progress. We're all working very, very, very efficiently. And I love it. We're gonna be, hopefully see this thing running by noon. Fingers crossed. Maybe you guys can hear that out there, but that is the sound of the backpack blower being ran. And you know what that means, folks? That means it is cleanup time and we are finished. So that being, we have a special surprise today for you guys out there. We have a very special guest today. This is SK, Sarah Kate. She is a big Team Aquascape, Greg Woodstock, the Pond Guy fan, and Ed the Pond Professor, right? Yeah. Okay, it was your dream to have a pond in your backyard, was it not? Yeah. What do you think of the pond though? Is it everything you thought it was gonna be? Is it as big or bigger? I think it actually looks good. This is kind of how the way I planned it to be. You planned this pond? Brian said he planned the pond. I mean, no, I mean like I kind of picture it this way. Okay, so I think what she's trying to say is she was the one with the big idea, right? And, and Brian kind of said, you know what? That's a good idea, kid. I'll run with that and I'll tell my guys it was my idea. I think that's how it went, right? He took all the credit for your genius idea of putting a pond in your backyard? Well, it's kind of my dad's idea. It's like oh, I'm man. In the backyard. She is... I agree to it. Okay, all right, that's good. So see, she is super smart, apparently, because A, she had the bright idea to put a pond in her backyard and agree with her dad that it was an equally good idea. And then she let Brian kind of take the credit. So what do you think? Should we turn the pump on? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. You want to see the waterfalls? Mm -hmm. Do you guys out there want to see the waterfalls? I thought so. Should we do it? Yeah. All right, let's go run this thing. This is a big moment. We don't let just anybody do this. I'm, I'm telling you, it's the truth. Very, very special. Very special moment. You're going to come over here. See that square black plastic box? Hit the middle button. All right. Now turn around. Let's see what happens. Is that what you wanted? You sure? Well, it's got a good sound, doesn't it? Sir Kate is not the only one that gets to enjoy this new water feature. There's her parents up there. Hi. Hi. And then where's your sister at? She's oh, she's sleeping? she's sleeping? What a lucky girl. Yeah. I could use a nap right now. Yeah. Not only was this the most special surprise, but if you look at behind me, we've got a really, really neat interactive beach area. Was this your idea? Yeah. Okay. The water's a little murky in there, but you can walk right in. Nice pea gravel. It's nice and soft on your feet. And then it just slowly slopes down in there. So you can sit your butt on that rock, that rock over there. The shape of the pond is really, really, really really nice because it goes underneath the deck so when you're standing up where they are you look out and you can literally look straight down and not see the edge of the pond so the fish come right up almost as if they're feeding right out of your hand really really cool do you want to see the stepping stones yeah. let's see if you can make it across we wanted to make this water feature very interactive for both the girls, but also the parents and anybody else that comes over. The landscape is impeccable behind me. As you can see, it's a cornucopia, perennials and hardy shrubs. It looks amazing. And I can't wait to see what they do with the rest of the garden space. I can picture this berm all planted up, but nice organic pathways leading in and around all over the place back here. And that was kind of the goal was to really create this backyard oasis. It's, as you can see behind me there's houses all over the place it's a very typical subdivision which is a very typical backyard that we're accustomed to but you also watch our videos see that we're in every day and I couldn't be more proud of our team and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out the waterfalls looks incredible the pond looks incredible I love the shape of it I love just the interactivity of the gravel beach area over here for the kids and adults alike I can just see half a dozen big koi swimming in through here I love the waterfalls we've got some awesome destinations boulders. That's just such a neat view. 
just turned out absolutely incredible. These guys are buttoning things up the last 10%. Yeah.